Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 126, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton, and we have with us today a special guest, Hayden. Hayden, welcome to the show. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. First time caller. Oof. I'm not sure if I believe that. <laughs> But you know the drill, Hayden. We have five minutes to to, to uh, disperse some intense wisdom. Uh, so, yes. but I, I do have a game uh, after the show, an apex-based game. So, um, if you're right. if you're able to stick around after our five minutes, um, it's going to be so much fun. So excellent. Um, well, I, I'm very excited about the um, the tip that we have today. I, I have a um, a preview of what you're going to show, Anton, and I think it's. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, um, we, we have a, a running um, love of certain features, and one of those is Markdown. Uh, I use Markdown a lot. Um, the, the biggest thing for me, I, I'm, I'm really big into security. Markdown lets me give the users the ability to have rich, you know, the end users the ability to supply rich text without me having to worry about them putting cross-state scripting in it or something in it that's going to just look bad. Right, they, they they're limited to what they can do to things that I want, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Markdown. It's also, in my opinion, easier to read and it's um, raw form. Oh yeah, I would guess. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, and we'll actually show some of that. Um, uh, but the it doesn't do some things within the specification. And the way Apex handles it sometimes has leaves a little bit to be desired. And we're going to show one of those things right now. Yes, um, and let's uh, add, uh, illustrate that Apex, in fact, has a bug. I, I, I will agree. I'm going to call it a bug as well. Um, so let's kick off our timer uh, and show what we're talking about. So right here, um, you can see this is a link. And it's if you, if you can really see my screen, it says oracle.com at the bottom. If I click on this link, it takes me to oracle.com. But what don't you like about that? Yes, I want my links to open in a new tab. So we're going to do it. Actually, gonna... Before we go further, could we explore? So this is Markdown in the database, and then it's being rendered as HTML on your screen. And so when you look at the HTML in that in that column, uh, so, so it's it's uh, HTML without it's a link without any extra attributes. Is that correct? Right, right, exactly. This is the Markdown. That's what's actually in the table. This is hey Matt. Uh, this is the actual HTML that that the Apex engine has changed for us. If we take a look at this column, this description column right here, really quickly, we'll see that it's a rich text column of type markdown. Um, and so the, the Apex engine has changed this into this. And if we inspect this, we'll see it's just a regular link. Um, let's see, I haven't done this before, but uh, let's go take a quick look. We'll see right there, there it is. Um, and you can see it's got a title tag Oracle link, right? Great. Okay. Yeah, so what we want is um, an extra attribute to make it open in a new tab. Right, so I'm going to edit that. I'm going to say, okay, this looks great. I'll pop on here. I'll edit it. This is my URL. That's that title link that we were talking about. And here we go. We're going to switch this to new window. That's what we're looking for. So we nice. say save. We'll inspect this right here. We'll take a look at this. Um, this has in it right here, it's got target equal blank. That's the that's the key key right there. Nice. And so if this were all HTML and we're saving that to the database, then it would work. Right. But we're not saving the HTML to the database. We're letting the Apex engine convert this into Markdown. So we click Apply Changes, and it made no change at all. It did is that not. because there is no Markdown syntax for opening a link in a new tab? Well, if you Google this up, Markdown link in new tab, you're going to find out there's this I'm going to call it proposed syntax right here that that seems to be um, becoming part of the standard, but maybe isn't quite there yet. It's a, I'm not quite sure, but clearly Apex has not implemented it. When you do this, it does not add that right here to the end of this. And even if you manually end, add this to the end of it, it has no effect to do it here. You'll actually just see it. If we were to go into the database and actually edit this directly and add that in there, you would actually see it show up here. You wouldn't, it wouldn't affect the link. So the only way to do it would be to somehow take the rendered HTML and then in, insert, inject the requ required um, attribute. Right. 
Turns out Apex provides a way to do that, but it's not the way you would like, right? What they should do is they should be able to, you know, well, they should just support this. Right? Yeah, they should <laughs> actually have their future work. <laughs> right, right. But instead what we can do, I've got another region. I'm going to uncomment this region and I'll show what I've done is I've taken that description column and I've used Apex Markdown to HTML and I've added this extra parameter P extra link attributes. And what that says is to every link, add a target underscore blank. Nice. So, uh, and that is exactly what you're looking for. Right. And in fact, that's exactly what's in the help for, for Apex, uh, for two HTML. It talks about doing exactly that. Right. So, yeah, so it's very easy great. for Apex to fix this problem. They've clearly anticipated the need. They have the, the entire wireframe worked up. It just <laughs> needs to be connected. Right. right. So all we have to do right here, now we're actually getting HTML. We're not getting Markdown. So we have to change this column from rich text Markdown to rich text HTML. Mm. If we do that, now when we run this, we're going to see on the left, the first one. On the right, we can see this. And now when I click on it, it opens in a new tab exactly as I want. Right. So, so the only uh, defect in the solution is you've imposed that uh, attribute on everything in the column. Uh, it's not row by row. That's right. It, it's not even, yeah, you can't have different ones. And ev every link is always going to open in a new tab, which is not as flexible. Right. But so. not much of a downside. No. No. And very cool to know about or to be reminded of the Apex underscore Markdown package. Yeah. Well, so I think we hit uh, our five minute um, window. I'm going to stop our timer. Nine seconds to go. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, so definitely, I think you can do this. You get you get the same results, except that you get uh, this open this click right here. Um, Fantastic. Right. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, I love any um, tip related to making working with Markdown more accessible. All right. Um, well, I have oh, one uh, quick question for you, Anton. I, I see that um, the uh, the rendering, the CSS rendering between the two description columns is somehow different. Yeah, this is highlighted. This is not. So what's the difference? I think I like the one on the left better. You like the one on the left better. Yeah. Interesting. Well. I wanted the one on the right. So I added something to my CSS to get the one on the right. But so what I added was this right here. Um, I added this and this works for the one on the right because that's an H2. If we look at the markdown, it's got, this means H2. So if it's H2, it does this. Mm. Yeah. But, it, but on this one, this is also an H2. But the column, when you use when you use a rich text markdown column, it adds a class to the column called is markdownified, which is a remnant of the way they used to do it. Um, but so it's got this it's got this remnant. So if you want if you do want to implement this in this one, you have to do is markdownified on your H two. Can we see the result? Yeah, sure. So now we have no running. Same kind of deal. It looks um, uh, like it's a bigger font. It is. I, I haven't fully styled the fonts and so forth. Oh, sure. but, um, yeah, it's the same. It is Markdownified gives you a different size of font and these kinds of things as well. So, but you can fully style it by using the uh, the the trick is to get this is Markdownified if you're using a Markdown column. Um, and good to know about that um, a special. Uh, class uh, C uh, uh, CSS attribute palette primer. Yes, um, this I have no idea how I found this, but it is a great little thing to keep in mind because this way, if I change themes or anything of that nature, it's always going to pick up the the right one. So this is absolutely a bonus tip, uh, well worth another couple of minutes to to talk about. But I I think this this is probably my favorite. Um, this var primary uh, palette primary is. Uh, it's perfect because it it then um, it, it then s automatically styles it the way the way you want it to. Nice. All right. Well, I have a game, but um, before we do the game, if you really came in just for the Apex stuff, you know, tell your friends about the show, likes. Yeah. Um, 
you don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. What's that thing? It's you, you don't, do you tweet these days? What is it? You oh, ask, what do you, you, do you, it sounds uh, dirty. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, whatever it is people do on that, that new platform, um, uh, do that too. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, the template component challenge is underway and it's almost over. You have until the 31st to get your submission in. And don't delay because um, one uh, hurdle to being able to even submit your entry is it needs to be live on Apex Star World. Yes, and that can take a little bit of time. So if you have one that you want to submit, it's worth up to 850 euros, um, which is like, I think it's like $3,000 or something. Um, I mean, at least. Maybe 10,000, I don't know. It's, who knows? We Americans, we don't know anything about these other things. <laughs> um, but it's actually a lot of money. Um, so uh, so I think get it out there. And I'm going to highlight a particular um, uh, template component uh, written by Velomir that I have uh, currently implemented in an application. And I made a little game out of it, uh, a little magic trick. So we're going to let everybody that wants to play this magic trick. Um, are you ready, Hayden? I'm ready. OK, so I'm going to show you a screen. You're going to pick a card in your okay. mind, focus yep. on that card. Okay. And then I'm going to snatch that, snack that, snatch that card away. And I, I shouldn't tell you. Oh what yeah. Don't tell me. Cause then I'll know how to get rid of it. Right. So here we go. Ready? Everybody playing, click here, pick your card and then click the magic button. Okay. I've picked my card. Oh, is it gone? It's gone. How did you do that? Well, let's play again. We'll see if we can do it one more time. All right. Tell me when you have your card. Yep. Gone. Gone. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, you, you've uh, is that what Velomir's plugin does? It reads plugin, your... Velomir's plugin actually does the cards. The, the nice. cards are uh, Velomir's plugin. So um, there you go. Um, so beautiful set of cards there. Um, so excellent. <laughs> 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 they're not that different they're pretty close <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it almost works <laughs> <laughs> all right um so uh plumbing already busted the the, the mystique of it all <laughs> um but thanks to velomir for uh uh the the plugin gave me gave me the cards um there we go. Thank you, Matt. That's magic. That's what we were looking. That is what we were looking for for a comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, well, anybody that wants to play this game, you can go to it. Um, I'll actually put uh, like some. I don't think I can put a link in the comments. I don't know. We'll put a link in the comments. Oh, I, it's already there. I see somebody's already put it in the comments. So you can play. You can play for yourself um, uh, and amaze all your friends. Uh, there we go. Anything else, Hayden? Oh, no, uh, one thing. Uh, one more thing. I forgot. Yes. Go ahead. I'll let you. Uh... Yeah. So I, I think we might have actually mentioned this in a previous episode, but worth reminding people, um, because YouTube comments are kind of wonky and they don't allow you to post links and stuff like that, uh, we thought a better way to interact with people is actually in Apex forums. So we will do our best to always include a forum post in all of our YouTube video descriptions to allow for better exchange of comments. All right. Uh, and I'll try to put actually out. Um, well, this one's got a, a fine description. I was thinking, uh, but can we link, can we put a link in here to the video? We should. Um, I, I would have if the, oh, if the link were available. Yeah. The chicken and egg kind of thing, right? You have to build one before you can build the, oh, yes, yeah. Maybe if we stored it in a collection or I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay, everyone, you have wasted a perfectly good 15 minutes uh, listening to this nonsense. Uh, if you like the video, like the video, send a letter to your mom, tell her about the show. Um, talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. <laughs>